Welcome to Boundless Word, the video podcast from St. Matthew Lutheran Church and Early Childhood Center in Hawthorne Woods, Illinois. As we continue our readings of the writings of St. Luke in the New Testament, we are at Luke 21, chapter 21 of Luke's Gospel. And we are also going to be praying Psalm 102. And I will be reading from the English Standard Version of the Bible. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the offering box and saw a poor widow put in two small copper coins. And he said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them, for they all contributed out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty put in all she had to live on. And while some were speaking of the temple, how it was adorned with noble stones and offerings, he said, As for these things that you see, the days will come, when there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. And they asked him, Teacher, when will these things be? And what will be the sign when these things are about to take place? And he said, See that you are not led astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time is at hand. Do not go after them. And when you hear of wars and tumults, do not be terrified, for these things must first take place, but the end will not be at once. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, and in various places famines and pestilences, and there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. But before all this, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors for my name's sake. This will be your opportunity to bear witness. Settle it, therefore, in your minds, not to meditate beforehand how to answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which none of your adversaries will be able to withstand or contradict. You will be delivered up, even by parents and brothers and relatives and friends, and some of you they will put to death. You will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head will perish by your endurance you will gain your lives. But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation has come near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let those who are inside the city depart, and let not those who are out in the country enter it, for these are all our days of vengeance to fulfill all that is written. Alas, for women who are pregnant and for those who are nursing infants in those days, For there will be great distress upon the earth and wrath against this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be led captive among all nations. And Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. And there will be signs in sun and moon and stars and on the earth distress of nations in perplexity because of the roaring of the sea and the waves. People fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken, and they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, straighten up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. And he told them a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they come out in leaf, you see for yourselves and know that the summer is already near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all has taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But watch yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and cares of this life, and that day come upon you suddenly like a trap. For it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth. But stay awake. At all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place and to stand before the Son of Man. And every day he was teaching in the temple. But at night he went out and lodged at the mount called Olivet. And early in the morning, all the people came to him in the temple to hear him. Luke 21, Jesus warning us what is to come but to be diligent and to persevere 
because we will be saved. We are already actually saved, those of us who believe in Jesus. And if you do not know Jesus, then I pray that these words of Jesus and of the gospel will be used by the Holy Spirit to create faith in your heart to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior so that you don't have to be terrified of the end times. And now let us pray Psalm 102. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me. In the day of my distress, incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call. For my days pass away like smoke, and my bones burn like a furnace. My heart is struck down like grass and has withered. I forget to eat my bread because of my loud groaning. My bones cling to my flesh. I am like a desert owl of the wilderness, like an owl of the waste places. I lie awake and I am like a lonely sparrow on the housetop. All the day my enemies taunt me. Those who deride me use my name for a curse. For I eat ashes like bread and mingle tears with my drink. Because of your indignation and anger, for you have taken me up and thrown me down. My days are like an evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. You are remembered throughout all generations. You will arise and have pity on Zion. It is the time to favor her. The appointed time has come. For your servants hold her stones dear and have pity on her dust. Nations will fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth will fear your glory. For the Lord builds up Zion. He appears in his glory. He regards the prayer of the destitute and does not despise their prayer. Let this be recorded for a generation to come so that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord that he looked down from his holy height. From heaven, the Lord looked at the earth to hear the groans of the prisoners, to set free those who are doomed to die, that they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord and in Jerusalem his praise, when peoples gather together in kingdoms to worship the Lord. He has broken my strength in mid-course. He has shortened my days. O oh my God, I say, take me not away in the midst of my days, you whose years endure throughout all generations. Of old you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like a garment. You will change them like a robe, and they will pass away. But you are the same, and your years have no end. The children of your servants shall dwell secure. Their offspring shall be established before you. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing our prayers. Thank you for bringing them to the Father who lives forever. Lord, we pray that as you hear our prayers, you will also give us hearts that are conformed to your will so that we can truly pray as Jesus taught us. Thy will be done, not our will. But you also said to ask for things, and we are asking, Lord. We are asking for peace in our land. We are asking for healing for our people. And we are asking for comfort for those mourning the death of loved ones. Hear our prayer, Lord, and give us peace in our time. In Jesus' name we pray this. And as he has taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and... Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you will keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body, and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you will share this video with someone else on your social media platforms and that you will make a comment in the section below. Let us know from where you are watching this video from. And as you go in the blessing of the Lord, I pray I will see you again next time.